almost 50 years after it was shelved, the controversial medical film is being screened at Memorial University. And it's all thanks to one St. John's medical historian who took a chance and made a big connection. Here and now's Chrissy Holmes has that story. Behind these walls, one of the most diverse and connected artists you'll ever meet is hard at work. You know, art is, is a happening. It's, it's, a, it's an occasion. This occasion brings a news crew and a documentary crew together for a working lunch. And we're all here because of one Newfoundlander's interest in obscure medical history. The year was 1967. And the place to be was Montreal. One of the must-see events at Expo 67 was Cordier's avant-garde film, Miracles in Modern Medicine. The Time Magazine said, Time Magazine wrote an article saying, medical show knocks them dead at Expo 67 in Montreal, run to it. And run to it they did, by the thousands. Nobody has ever seen what, what we shot. to see baby coming out of mothers and... And they, they were 50,000 people that, that collapsed on stretchers and were carried out. And a lot of them, when they woke up after their fainting, say, can I come and can I go back in to see the rest of the show? After that, the film was shelved. I thought the film had been thrown in a bin or disappeared, and it, it wasn't. It was collecting dust at the Library and Archives of Canada until a St. John's born medical historian happened upon it. Uh, when I saw it, I was uh, blown away. It was obviously a, a medical masterpiece of medical cinema. And then I found that uh, the filmmaker Robert Cordier was still alive and uh, well and living in Paris. Palmer says Cordier has had a rock star career. He worked with The Doors, Andy Warhol, and some even say he invented the modern music video. Now Palmer and writer Ed Rich are learning from the master by doing a documentary, following Cordier's art and life as it happens. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's just get out of the crowd and try it for yourself. Miracles in Modern Medicine is screening at 7.30 tonight at the Medical Education Building. Chrissy Holmes, CBC News, St. John's. A pair of gigantic icebergs have drifted towards Elliston early this